So uh, welcome to video four here, and um, we were covering Firefox and some of its add-ons and options. So let's go back to add-ons here and get some more, some of the ones I use. So um, the next one that we're going to get here is something more for personal usage. It's a uh, forecast bar enhanced and it's typed just like that Oop, well not just like that I forgot the E um, the reason I use this is because I like to know my weather and it's actually very good and it's just something for usability that I can't live without if I have Firefox I have to have this installed um, just helps out tremendously so once you install it you put in your zip code here I'll just put a generic uh, Beverly come on oh yeah I forgot I'll just put a generic Beverly Hills zip code here so as you can see it gives you the weather and you get a little satellite image here if you want you can customize it if you want you know let's say you want your radar to be combined animated and really big you can do all of that and then you can see this really big window with animated radar it's just really nice to have it gives you weather alerts right here you know if you have a weather alert you just click on it opens up in the page that the only thing I don't like is that it opens up in the same page that you were just surfing it should open up a new tab but that's just something uh, something that can be fixed, you know. But that's one of the add-ons. Let me look. Let me see what else I want to get here. Okay, another uh, add-on that I'd recommend is called Open Download. I think that's how they spell it. Uh, I think it's one. Yeah, it's one. Um, and it is this one though even though it says it's experimental it, I've used it forever and it works perfectly fine what this does is when you go and you download a program an exe you know an executable file instead of having to save it and then find where you saved it and all that stuff you have a run button which I'll show you how that works later. So it kind of works like Internet Explorer does, where you just have that run button instead of saving and all that fun stuff that I just hate to do. That's another one of them. Very good add-on. And the last one is Secure Login. Um, what this does is you, you download the add-on here, and it combines with um, the password manager in... Firefox so when you enter passwords it, and you remember them and you have Firefox remember them for you when you go back to that website all you have to do is click the little key and it automatically logs you in um, and I also when I set this up I activate JavaScript protection on logon but you can just add your passwords right there it's just very simple very quick you go to your website and you click and it goes in. Uh, another little add-on that I like to use personally because I have a lot of bookmarks and I have a lot of pages that I go to a lot is called multi row. I think, I think that's how they hold on here. Let me see how they spell it. These names are very specific on how you search for them because if you don't search exactly you'll never find it. Okay so you have to search for multi row space bookmarks space toolbar. Now what this does is you install this extension and Firefox has this bookmark toolbar right here at the top. Normally you get one row. That's it. Don't you don't have any more options. Because I have I like to have a lot of bookmarks up there. What this does is if you go to your go to add-ons and then you click options, you can pick how many rows you want right there. How many you want displayed at four or five, six, you know, however many you want. Um, so that way you can have a the toolbar just gets wider from here to here and you can have all your bookmarks that are important to you easy to reach easy to use very good little extension okay so 
this is a these are the add-ons now if we go to options we have a couple things that I like to change first thing I like to change to always ask me where do I want to save the file because maybe I don't want it to go to the downloads folder maybe I want it to go to another folder uh, maybe I want it to go to the desktop so that's the one thing I like to have changed let's see what else do I like to change here applications and stuff I leave it alone okay for history I use custom settings I like to leave uh, remember my browsing history but I like to change that to about 10 days so it's not don't stay there forever download history that's fine I don't like remember search and form history not a big fan of it and everything else I leave here just like it is in security uh, I leave everything just like it is in advanced I like to use smooth scrolling I'm just trying to remember if I change anything else here nope that's it those are the only changes that I make to Firefox and now I have Firefox set up just like I like to use it so we covered another aspect here now we have a very good web browser set up very well we have a security solution for the computer now we should get some tools to use on the computer some cleaners um, defragger things like that uh, so let me pause the video so I can open up my folder here and see exactly what I want to get and then I'll be right back alright so let's uh, I'm on filehippo.com here first thing I'd like you to get is uh, the free update checker now what this does okay here's that little run button that I was telling you about from that open download instead of saving the file you can just hit run and it'll save it to the temp folder and then you can run the file without having to find it and all that fun stuff now what this update checker does is um, it lets you scan your PC to see if software that you have on there be it uh, QuickTime uh, PDF viewer whatever has any updates that makes a really big uh, impact on how you secure your computers especially when it comes to uh, Flash and Java two main things first thing I like to do is I don't like to run it on startup I like to run it when I want to run it I leave the desktop shortcut and I leave the start menu installs very fast and then that's it okay let's uh, let's search here we'll start out with office now if you don't have um, Microsoft Office I'd highly recommend you get Open Office very good program very good very powerful does everything that Microsoft Office does but it's free next thing I'd like you to do is instead of getting Adobe Reader which is slow number one and very insecure number two is get Foxit Reader is uh, it's just like Adobe Reader but it's much faster and much more secure I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else here okay there's nothing else those two apps are very good for um, just for office productivity let's see here there's a couple more um, things that I'd recommend that you get for protection slash your peace of mind really uh, number one is malware bytes you've seen me use that all the time get it download it install it and just use it you know once a week once every two weeks to give your computer a, a thorough scan to make sure that nothing's in there nothing got by and another one is that probably not listed here is that uh, hitman pro that's another thing I'd highly recommend you get install and just use it for scanning uh, looks like my time is up for this video so I'll be back in I think video five so that's it for now. I'll talk to everybody later.